Natalie Dutoy gave evidence of infighting within the South African Sports Confederation and Olympic Committee, resulting in very little constructive work being done. Dutoy was speaking at the Ministerial Committee of Inquiry into the Sasko governance matters. The 34-year-old is the chairperson of the Athletes' Commission. Dutoit painted a picture of a dysfunctional board. She spoke in length about the infighting at board level that has led to important decisions not being taken. There's a lot of, I think, personal um, fighting, if I can call it that. So people actually blame other people. And a lot of core business is not really taken care of because of this. Dutoit found the communication link between federations and SESCOP challenging. The poor state of affairs at the Olympic House has led to athletes not getting the support they require to compete. The negative outlook has also affected sponsorship. There's a lot I think that has come out in terms of what is actually happening um, and a lot of information was leaked etc etc but I think in terms of all of that I personally know that a lot of sponsors don't want to put money in because the athletes don't end up getting it. Um, and, you know, from our perspective, we can understand that. Um, and it's something that we have to unfortunately work with. Another board member, Meryl King, who is part of the Finance Commission, gave submissions about a divided board that does not take care of its athletes. She discredited former CEO Tabi Reddy. The truth has to, has to come out. And somebody cannot just run the sport in this country as if it's his own little kingdom. And for, for so many years, we've tried to have a voice against what's been going on, and the things just get um, swept under the carpet or fobbed off, or, or uh, people are factionalized and your voice is just marginalized. So, yeah, I, I'm happy that this is coming out. I think what you're saying is that the previous CEO was culpable, correct? Absolutely. King also spoke about the unnecessary high cost of legal fees being spent by the Olympic governing body. The inquiry continues next week, Monday. Lebhan Tube, SBC News, Johannesburg.